You know, when you walk into a room and you know one guy's name is uh, Bad Bob, the other guy's name is Blade, and the other guy is Gator, uh, it might tend to make you nervous. But uh, in all actuality, I'm not scared at all, man. These guys have the biggest hearts of, of, of bikers I've ever met in my life. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the individuals, talk a little bit about BACA, Bikers Against Child Abuse. And uh, joining us in studio, uh, the PR officer for BACA is uh, Bad Bob. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. Good. Also joining us, the president of the Thousand Lakes chapter, that's Blade. How you doing, Blade? Pretty good. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good so far. And a guy that just is intimidating, but uh, he really doesn't scare me, is, uh, is Gator. He's the security officer for the Thousands, Thousand Lakes chapter. How you doing, Gator? Good, how you doing? Uh, I'm not afraid yet, should I be? Nah. No. No, You got any reason to be? <laughs> no, no, not, none whatsoever. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit, uh, let's, let's tell the folks at home a little bit about BACA. What exactly is BACA? Well, BACA, Bikers Against Child Abuse, is a worldwide organization that exists for the purpose of removing fear uh, from abused children, getting their lives back on track, getting them back into um, the childhood that they deserve. And they've been interrupted with uh, any multiple forms of abuse. It could be physical abuse, it could be emotional abuse, neglect, sexual abuse, but uh, we get involved with these children and help uh, get their lives back on track. In fact, uh, one of the things that we do most commonly is we get children ready, mentally prepared to go to court, to sit in a courtroom in front of a bunch of people and answer questions. Uh, remove the fear, give them the courage, the self-confidence, and get them back on track. That's basically what we do. We have chapters across the United States. We're in about 30, uh, 40 30, 39, 40 states right now. We're getting close to 200 chapters. Uh, we're in seven countries. We have forming efforts in about 20, 25 more countries right now, and we're just uh, we're just encompassing the world now, helping children that uh, have been abused. I think it's something that's a, a testament to social media and to uh, YouTube channels. You guys taped with us about a year, year and some change ago, and you're talking about the growth that you're experiencing, and and I think from a PG TV poll place standpoint. The video that you guys did with this, us, uh, uh, over 20,000 views, and it, and, and it really speaks to the work of what you guys do and, and, and the comments that are made as far as the work that you guys do and, and the growth that you're experiencing. Let's talk about that video. Yeah, absolutely. We were here about a year ago, and we had four chapters at that point. Thousand Lakes here in Polk County was just starting up. And in little over a year's time, uh, we now have eight chapters uh, in the state of Florida. We have forming efforts in four other communities. Uh, we're all the way down to Miami. Uh, we've opened up in Daytona. We're over in Tarpon Springs in, in the Tampa area. We're in Fort Myers. Forming efforts in, in Melbourne, Tallahassee. We're, we're just spreading. And the video itself, it's been amazing, the response that we've got from people around the world. We've had comments uh, come in from the Netherlands, Italy, that have watched it. I had a, uh, a gentleman contact me from Indiana that said, based on that video, they're starting a chapter. He's played that video to some of his friends. They're starting a Baca chapter in uh, Indiana. So we really appreciate the coverage that we've got uh, as far as growing Baca. But more importantly, the words getting out about what we do for children and we're getting referrals uh, for children that need our help. You had talked about all the chapters that, that are going on right here in Florida and of course expanding across the United States. On any given day, day such as today, what could a chapter be going through? Well, as we're filming this right now, we've got three of our chapters converging. Converging, is that the right word? Coming together? Works enough. Diverging, <laughs> converging. But anyways, they're converging uh, on Miami, we have a child down there, actually two children, that are going to court today. And we have members from three different chapters riding down. I think we've got them from Daytona, from Orlando, from Miami itself, and they're gonna go with that child to court. Uh, 
will have a presence in the courtroom because oftentimes a defense lawyer will subpoena all the friends and relatives of the children as witnesses. That way they can't be in the courtroom during testimony and uh -huh. that child's isolated by themselves. Well, BACA members will show up with that child and go into the courtroom with them and give them the emotional support that they need to be able to tell what happened. Now, Blade, with the, with the Thousand Lakes chapter, how did you guys get started, and, and where are you now as far as membership goes? Mm, uh, we have quite a few members now. We've grown extensively since the last time we were here. I mean, we started out with just a board, and now I've, I'm almost outgrowing where we're meeting at. Um, we've done a fabulous job. We've helped a lot of kids in the past year since we've uh, formed and been in here. We've done quite a few kids. We go all over. I actually have a court case coming up that I'm going to have to fly to Colorado to go to court with my child. And also the Colorado chapter will meet me there too. I've been in contact with them so we just keep growing. I've helped uh, Bay Bridges get started, Fort Myers area get started. So we just continue to keep growing and helping kids. For those that might be interested in, in joining a chapter, uh, explain a little bit about what the life is like. I, I use the word paramilitary and, and you looked down at me and said, no. <laughs> but <laughs> explain that there, there, there is a chain of command. There, there, there is a way that business is done. There, there are people in place. Gator has the best job of anybody, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, but explain, well, <laughs> explain how that goes. Well, well, the first thing, if you're interested in, in joining, you can go to bacaworld.org. That's our worldwide website, and you can identify a chapter going through the website near you, and we post our meeting locations and times, and you can come. It's, it's open, up to the, open to the public. You can visit a meeting, um, see if it's something that uh, fits your lifestyle. We're looking for bikers, and those are people that really are comfortable riding their bikes. We put on 20, 30,000 miles a year on our bikes uh, helping kids out. Now, that may not be the norm. Uh, chapters will vary. But uh, you have to go through a background check. We take you through the uh, FBI and VEX background check so that you can be around children. Uh, you have to ride with us for a year before uh, we will consider, a minimum of a year, considering putting a patch on your back because we want to get to know you, make sure that we understand your values and, and your passion for the mission. And you have to participate in 80% of the things that we do because it's tough if a child needs help to say, oh, geez, I got a uh, banquet I have to go to tonight. No, the expectation is send somebody else to the banquet. You got friends in visiting from out of town. Have somebody keep them busy while we go see the child. The child's the most important thing that we deal with. That's our mission is supporting children, everything about the children. But you have to have a motorcycle or you have to have a back seat of a motorcycle. You've really got to ride motorcycles to participate, although we have supporters uh, that aren't working towards a patch that will help us out that aren't involved with uh, the motorcycles themselves. We might put on an event for a child and we need help putting that on. So you can help us in all kinds of different ways, but becoming a member is quite the uh, obligation because children can't wait. The thing that you had said that was kind of interesting, and, uh, and I went to a... Uh Christmas in June? Was it Christmas in June party? Christmas you, in July. Christmas in July party that you guys had. And the thing that was really cool that, you know, this isn't strictly a guy thing. The, the ladies are involved um, right there. They're, they're working side by side. And this isn't any, you know, whether the ladies on a bike or ladies who, who has a significant other, you know, this is a group for everybody to join. Yeah, they're you will see, court. yeah, you will see patches on the back of our women. Um, and that's so that they can be involved with the child. We have a, we have a, uh, a rule that uh, there has to be two patched members with the child at all times. You can't be with them one on one. Uh, depending on the child, the situation, they may uh, interact better with, with a woman or a man. We put a man and a woman as primaries to, to get to know the ch child and develop the child, but the women are absolutely an important Huge part, part of, our, of our organization. And we got women that can ride better than a lot of the men. So, you know, don't ever diss a woman on a bike. Uh, we got biker women, I'm telling you. They ride hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Gator, as, as the newest 
person to uh, to the taping. How'd you get involved with Baca? I met Blade at the 100 Mile Ride a couple years ago, and uh, I thought it was interesting. And I hung around for a while, and, and uh, did a few things with him. And, and basically, it was easy for me to help kids. I mean, my parents were foster parents. My mom and dad adopted kids when we were young, and you know, what biker don't like kids? You get to ride your bike and help kids. Yeah, what better exactly. is there to do? As a as a security officer, um, what is what does that job entail within within Baca? Uh, keeping the kids safe, keeping our officers and our members safe during rides when we visit people, uh, when we go to a child's home or something, we make sure the child and the family are secure, the area is secure. Um, it's a lot of fun. I think so. See, we ride in the neighborhoods sometimes that aren't uh, the best of neighborhoods. Less than desirable. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll set it up to where we've got the, the, the neighborhood secure because we have a lot of people that are curious coming up to see what we're doing. And we ride into neighborhoods that have the $5 million homes. Uh, uh -huh. Really, there's no economic barrier to child abuse. It happens everywhere. But the security officer actually assesses the situation, makes sure the children are safe, number one, and that it's safe to go into the neighborhood uh, for many reasons. Uh, an individual as intimidating as what Gator is, the bottom line, he's a biker and he's a biker with a heart. And you tell a story where uh, you were doing a speech recently and you started off the speech one way and by the time you were done, the crowd was like, what is he doing? Talk a little bit about that. I, well, part, part of the, the shtick of this presentation that I'll do, uh, and I do it for a lot of uh, agencies and I'll, I'll talk at conferences, is to show that bikers come from all walks of life. You know, don't always judge a book by its cover. And, you know, whether you're a motorcycle mechanic, whether you're an executive, whether you're a teacher, uh, we have a... Uh, uh, a physician, a doctor that's uh, in one of our chapters, emergency room physician. You couldn't tell by looking at him. I was going to say, which one of us is the doctor? I'm not holding my ne hand up. Neither one of us. <laughs> but I started, I, I, basically I'll start the speech in a suit as an executive. And as I talk, I start, I take the tie off, I take the suit coat off, I hang it up, I start unbuttoning the shirt. Now some of the women get a little crazy when that happens, but... <laughs> Yeah, they start I leaving. end up taking the clothes off and I transform into my normal life, really, which is Bad Bob is with Baca. And it catches a lot of attention. Sometimes we'll play one of our videos while that's going on. I'll see half the audience is watching me. What is he doing over there? But within a couple minutes, this is how I look. And the message is we come from all walks of life. And if you see bikers anywhere, it's all walks of life and one thing we have in common across the spectrum is we all love children and we love our motorcycles so this is just the perfect match for most of us gator we got just a little bit of time left uh, i'd like you to inspire those at home uh, that, that ride a bike to become a part of this if you like riding motorcycles for one and you like kids and most people do they have families at home they have kids at home and nieces nephews grandkids come visit uh, chapter meeting yeah come to a chapter meeting and and see what we're about uh, and don't just come to one come to a couple really see how it is maybe come to some of our events check us out uh, and get a little bit a bigger picture of what we do and how we react and around the kids and uh, get a lot of enjoyment out of it yeah I, I know this is uh, this video will be seen worldwide but we're in Polk County Florida right now where, where does your chapter meet and when so you might want to tell everybody that. We meet in Polk County at the uh, American Legion, American Post, Legion Four. Post 4. Sorry about that. That's all right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> At 10 o'clock on the uh, fourth Sunday of the month. Okay. And you can find the address. It's online at bacaworld.org. Uh, they, they have a great breakfast there. I, I, yeah. I come for the breakfast and the camaraderie and the brotherhood. They have a great breakfast. When, when you've been around to touch on what Gator was talking about, we obviously love our motorcycles and we all like helping kids and, and see the change we do in kids' lives. But it's also the brotherhood. Once you've been here and rode with each other and been up and down the road and done a lot of miles, 
it, it's a strong brotherhood for sure. Well, Bob, Blade, Gator, guys, I want to thank you not only for coming on the show and, 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 and highlighting what it is you do in the community, but, but for actually making a difference, not only in this community, but, but across the United States. Thank you. And I'd like to say one more thing is for, for the people that watch this video, and you can go back and watch the other one as well, share it across your show, social network. It will help us grow as an organization. It will help us get more children. So when you watch this video, please share it. All right. The, the challenge has been thrown down. Uh, uh, Baca, they're doing incredible things, not only in this community, but across the United States. Uh, every year, 3.3 three million cases of, uh, of child abuse happen within the U.S. 70% of them are neglect, 20% are physical abuse, and 10% is sexual abuse. Uh, this is happening to, to children within, within the United States, within your community, and you can get involved and make a difference by joining BACA. Uh, BACA, uh, their website is bacaworld.org. That'll get you the information of chapters that are closest to you. Uh, if you're looking for uh, to join here in Polk County, uh, like we said, the fourth Sunday of, of every month, they, the Thousand Lakes chapter meets at the American Legion in Lakeland. So make sure you check that out. But uh, you need more information, like I said, uh, go to the website bacaworld.org or give them a call 863-588-688. 6560.